How to Find Love Again After Losing a Relationship. Hi, this is Helena Hart from CommitmentConnection.com and in this video I wanted to answer a question I received from a woman in our community who asks how to find love again after the loss of a long-term relationship. But first, if you're ready to attract the man you want and create the relationship you've always dreamed of, click on the button to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all of the latest videos. So to answer this question, how to find love again after losing Losing a relationship or perhaps after getting out of a long-term relationship where things feel really hopeless or maybe you're feeling really heartbroken right now I've definitely been there myself I've worked with so many women who are in that exact same situation right now so first of all my heart goes out to you and I just want you to know that it is possible to find love again after the loss of a relationship and if this is something that you really want if you have a desire to find love again and and have have love and a great relationship in your life it's a sure thing and it's on its way to you and the first thing that came to mind when I read this question was a story actually from uh, someone in my family my grandmother who is uh, she's amazing she's really really funny and amazing woman she's 87 years old and she was married for 65 years to my grandfather who passed away a few years ago and eventually my grandma sold the house and moved into like a retirement community Community. And you might think that that would sort of be it for her, you know, in those communities, it's like 90 to 95% women, typically, she was telling me because obviously women live a lot longer than men. And she ended up meeting this great guy who's 91 years old. And and they're together now and she's so happy and she says I'm so in love with my best friend and he's really like handsome and charming and he does nice things for her he brings her groceries upstairs to her apartment there every time she goes to the store it's really sweet and it just it really gave me a lot of hope and you know a lot of other people in my family so hopefully that gave you some hope as well and you know come to find out later there was actually another man who was interested in her in the same community so where some people People might think or have this like scarcity mindset like all the good men are taken or uh, it's not possible for me to find love again at this age or at this stage of my life I just see so much evidence out there that it's really not true if you have a desire for something if you don't want to be lonely anymore and you want to find that love it's absolutely on its way to you you just have to believe that it's out there and you don't have to go looking for this necessarily this will come find you so that is uh, something that I would love to just share with the world this is totally possible it's all about believing that it's true for you you know if you have this belief that I have to hang on to this relationship uh, because there's nothing else out there for me. That's what you're going to see in the world and you're going to attract evidence to confirm that belief because you know our brains are sort of hardwired to want to be right all the time. So this is really important, believing that it's possible for you, believing that there's another guy out there. And you know, I'm not sure the details from this question. I don't know if um, you just got divorced or if you're going through a breakup right now, but you know, the next relationship relationship might not be exactly like the relationship you just came from you know um, it's like having a pet you know if you have like a cat or a dog that's really special to you and you know if it passes away and you get another one that love for the new animal is not the same always as the last one it's a new relationship and a new experience and it's sort of similar in your love life as well you know uh, the love you had for um, the last man it's never going to die. You never really lose that love, in my opinion. That love kind of lives on, but you you take those experiences with you into your next relationship. So what I would recommend here is really becoming a match to your ideal relationship. That means you have to focus on what is right in your life, not focus on what went wrong in the last relationship. We can tend to sort of justify where we stand or kind of defend or explain where we are. For example, uh, talking about all the reasons why your last relationship didn't work out. And then we end up sort of attracting those same experiences and qualities in the next person. If you've ever known a woman who gets into the same sort of relationship with the same type of man over and over and over, 
even though consciously she wants to attract a different kind of man, that's sort of what's going on, you know? So you really want to become a match to those qualities and characteristics that you're seeking in your ideal man, in your next relationship. So to do that, you know, really get in touch with what feelings would you like to feel in your ideal relationship? Most women say they want to feel uh, loved and cared for and understood and safe, those kinds of things. So really uh, becoming a match to those qualities involves making sure that you're giving those things to yourself first, rather than this knee-jerk reaction of, okay, I lost this relationship, so I'm going to go out and find those things in a man and trying to get those things out of the next man. You really want to give those feelings to yourself first and radiate that out. That's what will attract a better man to you. You know, if, if your breakup was painful or if you're going through a divorce, um, if you want to attract a different kind of man, you really want to become a match to those qualities that you're looking for in a relationship rather than going over and over in your head why the last relationship didn't work out. So I hope that gave you some tips on how to move on and find love again after the loss of a relationship. And I would love to hear your experiences with this. If you have any thoughts or comments please type them in at the bottom of this video. And if you have any other questions for me that you'd like me to answer in a future video, be sure to type those into the comments section as well. So I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. And if you'd like to discover exactly what to say and do to get the man and relationship you've always wanted, click the button on the right side of this video to visit our website. And I will talk to you soon.